Anak Krakatau, new cracks discovered at volcano raised new landslide and tsunami fears in Indonesia. This is Anna Krakatau, the child of Krakatau. Latest news, while volcanic activity continues in Indonesia, Anna Krakatau, authorities said they've discovered new cracks running through the remaining island. The discovery raises fears that another potentially large-scale landslide and tsunami could be produced. This is on Science Global News. According to Dr. Dwi Korita Karnawati, who is the head of the Indonesian Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysics Agency, two cracks appeared after the volcano's height dropped from 338 meters to 110 meters. That's from 1,108 feet to 360 feet. And so it lost about two-thirds of its height following its eruptions at the end of December 2018. She said, quote, from the latest we've seen from the air, the mountain is sloping and smoke is rising from beneath the sea. So it's also smoking water from beneath the sea, meaning that it's erupting an undersea eruption. And the body of the mountain we can see from the surface, there are cracks that continue to emit smoke. The cracks are certainly deep, unlike normal gaps, she added. This is what she reported at the Straits Times. She said, what we're worried about is that if there is another eruption, the cracks might connect and weaken the slope, causing part of the mountain to collapse yet again. Of course, the hope is that it will not be like what happened on December 22nd, but we ask the public to be vigilant when they are in the 500 meter, that's 1,600 feet zone around the coast. The part of the volcano that could collapse currently has a volume of about 60 million square meters, that's smaller than the 90 million square meters of uh, slope that slid into the Sunda Strait on December 22nd, that displaced massive amounts of water that sent waves up to 16 feet high, crashing into densely populated areas on Sumatra and the Java Islands. Nevertheless, it is quite sufficient for another very dangerous tsunami, plus the island is also still growing. According to Volcanic Ash Advisory issued by Darwin VAAC, on January 5th, regular volcanic ash emissions at 33,000 feet are moving east-southeast. Discrete eruptions of 45,000 feet moving west-southwest are occurring every three to six hours and dissipating quickly. So yes, eruptions are ongoing every three to six hours. And they said, the center said this behavior has persisted for over two days. There are embedded videos here. You can see various pictures as well. The alert level for Anak Krakatoa remains at three out of four. Residents and tourists are not allowed to approach within 3.1 miles of the crater. And this is from Planet Labs. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with 
university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.